Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation that involves radicals. x times square root of x equals to x plus square root of x. In other words, we are going to solve for x values. And just keep in your mind that x is greater than or equal to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on the right hand side of this equation. We are going to move everything on the left hand side. So therefore our equation is going to become simply x times square root of x. When we move x on the other side become a negative x and this is going to become negative square root of x equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and tweak this uh, x. x could be written as square root of x times square root of x. So therefore this whole equation could be written as x times square root of x minus square root of x times square root of x minus square root of x equals to 0. And now we can see across the board square root of x is in common. So therefore we are going to factor out square root of x outside and in the parentheses we got x minus square root of x and here 1 is a is coefficient so I'm going to just put 1 over here equals to 0. And now we can see we got these two factors equals to 0 so we can separate them. So therefore I can write square root of x equal to 0 and the other side I'm going to put down x minus square root of x minus 1 equal to 0 as well. And now let's focus on this first equation. Let's undo this square root by taking a square on both sides. Now we can see this square and square root is gone. So simply x turns out to be on the right hand 0 square is same as 0. So our one of our solution turns out to be x equal to 0. Now let's focus on this right hand side equation. Let me go ahead and drag this negative square root of x on the right hand side. So therefore we are ended up with the x minus 1 equals to square root of x. Now let's focus on the right hand side of this equation. We know x is greater than or equal to 0. So therefore square root of x is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So that means we can write this left hand side x minus 1 is going to be greater than or equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and add 1 on both sides. This is gone. So therefore we can write x is greater than or equal to 1. So therefore just keep in your mind that uh, x must be greater than or equal to 1 for this uh, specific uh, equation. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. Now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square that could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it uh, on the left hand side uh, binomial. So therefore left hand side would be written as x square minus 2 times x plus 1 equals to on the right hand side the square and square root is gone. So we ended up with just simply x on the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and subtract x from both sides. On the right hand side this uh, x and uh, negative x uh, they cancel each other out. So we ended up on 0 on the right hand side. So the left hand side is going to become uh, x square. And these two combined terms we're going to get negative uh, 3x uh, plus 1 equals to 0. And now since we are running out of the space uh, over here. So I copy down uh, this equation over here. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve by using the quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we'll be using to solve this given quadratic equation. Now let's focus on coefficients a equals to 1, b equals to negative 3 over here and c equals to 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So x equals to minus and b is a negative 3 
plus or minus square root of negative 3 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 1 as well all over 2 times a is 1 let's go ahead and simplify furthermore the right hand side so this is simply is going to give us a positive 3 plus r minus square root of that's going to give us 9 minus 4 all over 2 or simply x is going to be 3 plus or minus square root of 5 all over 2 and now we can see we are ended up with the one of the solution x equal to 0 on this side x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and we are going to check whether this equation satisfies this condition x must be greater than or equal to 1 so let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs so therefore we are going to have x equal to 3 plus square root of 5 all over 2 and the other one is going to be x is equal to 3 minus square root of 5 all over 2 now let's go ahead and find the value of this uh, right hand side now we can see that this x is going to be approximately equal to 2.62 and now we can see that this indeed satisfies this condition that is greater than 1. So therefore we conclude that this is our valid solution. So we are going to accept this solution. And now let's focus on this side x is equal to 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and find the value of this one. And uh, we can see that this turns out to be approximately equal to 0 0.38. And this uh, 0 0.38 value is indeed uh, less than 1. We can see that this uh, does not uh, satisfy th this condition. So therefore we conclude that this is an invalid uh, solution. So therefore we are going to reject uh, this uh, solution. So thus our only valid solutions are x equal to 0 and x equals to 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And here are our two valid solutions x equal to 0 and this on the right hand side x equals to 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And uh, this could be written as x is approximately equal to 2.62. That's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.